Hello and welcome to my top 20 picks for the Sephora Spring Sale Savings Event for Mature Skin. Even if you're just window shopping, I think you're going to really enjoy today's video because these are products that I've used over time and would recommend to you whether a sale's going on or not. I'm a VIB Sephora member, so my sale starts tomorrow or today when this video goes up and goes through April 24th. The Rouge members have already been shopping for a few days, so there are a few things that I wanted to talk about that are sold out, so apologies, but I'm gonna talk about them because they'll come up and they'll be restocked and you may wanna pick them up. I'm gonna start with 12 skincare products, four makeup items, two body products, and a hair product that I really have enjoyed and found recently. The first category of products that I wanna talk about are skincare devices. Yes, they are high ticket items, they are pricey, they are an investment, but a sale is a great time to invest if you've decided that you want one. The first one I wanna share with you that is a rediscovery for me is the Foreo Luna Mini 3. This isn't the one that attaches to the app. This is one that you just freestyle. For mature skin, I love this. It is so gentle, it helps exfoliate some of that flaky skin buildup that we get and that dullness that we get. It just clears my skin up. Do I use it every day? No, but I reach for it when I notice my skin's looking flaky and dull. I have really been a microcurrent convert, not because it gives you a facelift, it doesn't, but it definitely does something for your skin immediately. It just looks better. My skin just looks better after I use it. I get a little bit of definition, a little bit of a brow lift. I think over time, my skin just is looking better with microcurrent. So I'm definitely a proponent of microcurrent. I want to recommend to you the Foreo Mini, which I really enjoy for a little bit of cheek contouring or a brow lift. Or if you have a small face like mine, the Mini will be perfect for you. The Foreo Bear has a higher milliamp here. You get a little more power with it, but the Foreo Bear Mini is great. This is the microcurrent device that I bring when I'm traveling, the New Face Mini. This was my first microcurrent device. I loved it. There was nothing wrong with it except that it died after a year. I have submitted a warranty request, so we'll see what they say. But now they've come out with the New Face Mini Plus, which you can use along with an app. It has, I believe, the exact same milliampere's. The strength is just the same and the power is the same. It's just in a little smaller size, maybe a little bit more ergonomic. Again, I prefer a mini size microcurrent device because I have a small face. If you like attachments and you want a boost to the milliampere's, you might think about the New Face Trinity Plus. That gives you a boost button where you can increase the number of microamperes to about 425, I believe, and you get a stronger, more robust microcurrent experience with the boost in the Trinity Plus. You also can remove the attachments, and if that's something that you're interested in, you might consider the Trinity Plus. This is the first time, I believe, that they've been in the sale. They might have been in the fall, but these are new devices, the Plus devices that connect with the app and the Trinity that has the boost. Next, I want to share with you the Dermaflash tool. This is a tool that my mother-in-law uses for dermablading. She has found the Dermaflash to be the perfect dermablading tool or dermaplaning tool for her. She loves it and I can't recommend it highly enough. She's not the only one that loves this device, especially if you're a little bit shy about starting dermaplaning, dermablading and dermaplaning. This would be a great entry level device for you to try. I want to move on to skincare itself. My first product is an eye serum. This is the first eye serum I ever use, and it's actually an eye serum with corrector. It has a vitamin C. Now their blend is proprietary, so we don't know exactly what type of vitamin C is in here. The one that's listed in the inky list is the tetrahexyl decal ascorbate. So that's an oil soluble vitamin C, but it also has a bit of corrector in here. It's a little tint to it. And it really is slightly yellow, but it really corrects the purple inner corners. It's actually the only corrector that I'm using in my under eye area today. I have a couple of lip products. My tried and true Laneige Overnight Sleep Mask is fabulous. This pot will last you an entire year. It does the trick. It has over a million reviews. A million people like this product. That's a lot of people. I don't think I've seen that many reviews on the Sephora website under any other product. And I wish I didn't like it, but I really do like it. It's the Tatcha Hisu Lip Mask. Now, this is double the price. Is it worth double the price? Probably not. I did receive this in PR and I'm Unfortunately, I really like it. I like this more for a daytime to keep my mature, dry lips hydrated. This is a little more tacky, and so I sleep in it. I would not wear this during the day unless I was just out hiking. But this, I feel, is more, it's more glossy. It kind of helps hydrate the lips like prior to putting on your lipstick. 
So I'm really torn about liking this, but I do really like the Kasu Lip Mask by Tatcha. That would be something that I would invest in on a sale day because it wouldn't be something I would normally pick up for myself. The next product is also by Tatcha. It's their Dewy Skin Cream. This is the first luxury skincare product that I ever purchased myself. It is near and dear to my heart because of that. It has the Jasmine Purple Rice. This is a beautiful product. It sits like silk on the skin. I love it. Do I have it around all the time? No, it's a pricey moisturizer and I get that. I use this as a gifting product because you really can't go wrong. Everybody I've gifted to this to loves it. And I usually keep a mini around. So like I said, this was gifted to me in PR. That's why I have a full size. I really want to try their Indigo Overnight Mask. That is a nice repair cream and I've heard so much about it. It's really pricey. I'm gonna pick up the mini and give it a try. I have several Sephora sunscreens to share with you that are definitely mature skin friendly. The first is the Murad City Skin Age Defense. This was the first mineral sunscreen that I ever tried. And I really fell in love with it because it has a little bit of pink tint to it and it doesn't have any white cast on my Fitzpatrick 2 skin. If you're Fitzpatrick 3, I think you could get away with it. If you have a darker skin tone, it's going to give you a little bit of a white cast. Another favorite sunscreen at Sephora is the Unseen Sunscreen 40 SPF. Oh, I should have mentioned that the City Defense is 50 SPF and four pluses. That's another reason why I love this mineral sunscreen. You get that really great SPF coverage without that white cast. Back to the Unseen Sunscreen, another favorite, and I always get this in a mini. I never use a full-size product of this because I use this as a dual tasking product. I use it as a primer if I'm gonna do makeup and a sunscreen all in one. It's a little matte for me if I just use it as a sunscreen only. I like a little bit more of a dewy your look, but if you let our oily, you have an oily skin type, or if you like a sunscreen product that can dual task as a primer before makeup, this is a great pick. One of my other favorite mineral sunscreens from Sephora is the Biosance. This is their sheer squalane sheer zinc formula. It's 30% SPF. I would use this on a day where I was kind of running into the house, running out of the house, not really spending much time in the sun. The Sephora sunscreen roundup wouldn't be complete without sharing the Sephora sun safety kit. This comes out every March. It's a fabulous investment if you're looking for a holy grail sunscreen. You get 13 to 15 sunscreens to try. Usually two of them are full size. I was going to do a full review on this, but the sad part is as soon as this goes up on sale, it sells out. It's now only available in stores during the Sephora sale. So I always post this on my community page right when it comes out. The best thing about this kit, besides the fact that you get to try 15 sunscreens for a really reasonable price, it's only $40, but half of those proceeds go to the Memorial Sloan Kittering Cancer Foundation. So it's a win-win. You get to try a bunch of sunscreen and you get to donate to a great cause. The makeup products that I have to share with you, I have a primer, an eye palette, a mascara, and a lipstick that I want to share with you. I'm going to start with the lipstick because the one I was going to recommend to you is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Lip Oil, not to be found. Maybe a few of you that were at the beginning of the Rouge sale were able to pick up a few. I actually purchased it before the sale and it got lost in transit and then they decided they were sending it back to the warehouse. So I purchased two, one for myself and one for a friend and who knows where they are. But my mother-in-law, who's a doll who lives up in Canada, purchased two at the Sephora, Canadian Sephora for me. So I don't know when I'll get them. I don't know when I'll get to review them for you. I was hoping I would actually have them here for you and hoping that they would stay in stock for you to purchase. So I had to pick a backup and my backup is the Charlotte Tilbury Superstars. I love this. It's a combination lipstick, lip gloss, creamy, gorgeous formula. I have one in my purse at all times. My makeup primer recommendation is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. This is a no-fail primer. If you're a novice at makeup, this is perfect. If you have mature skin, this is perfect. It looks beautiful on top of all your skincare. It doesn't slide around over your sunscreen, and it also doesn't start to cake up. It gives you just that amount of hydration. This is basically a no-fail makeup primer. Like I said, I'm a novice at makeup. I was completely intimidated by eyeshadow palettes. 
This is a full palette of neutrals, and if you're just starting out, there's nothing scary in here, and you can practice to your heart's content, and there's enough variety where you can try some shimmers, you can try some matte, you can try different techniques without being overwhelmed. And if you just need a palette of neutrals, the Tartlet and Bloom Clay Palette is perfect. The mascara that I'm recommending is the Tower 28 Lengthening Curling Mascara. This was one of my favorite finds of 2022. This just gives an elevated look to your daytime mascara. I'm wearing it today. I love it. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't budge. It stays all day until I take it off. It also just defines each and every lash and I just can't say enough about it. I don't need a curling wand. I don't use one, but this just gives my lashes lots of definition, lots of separation, and it's really easy to work with. The two body products that I'm gonna recommend aren't gonna be any surprise if you've been on my channel for a little while. It's the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This is meant as a facial cleanser. I use it as a body cleanser because it does a beautiful job exfoliating. I don't really need that much. You'd think this would be a small tube for a body product, but I use about a quarter size amount as an exfoliating treatment once a week, and it does a beautiful job exfoliating all that crepey skin. And I follow it up with Topical's Slather Body Serum. This is retinol, lactic, urea, and squalane. It's a beautiful serum. It has transformed the skin on my legs. I just can't say enough about these two products. I've been trying some other body products lately, and I'm really excited to get to the sale and repurchase the slather because the ones that I'm using just aren't as good as this combination. My new find in hair care is the Living Proof Perfect Day Advanced Dry Shampoo. I used their original formula and I liked it, but it left a little bit of buildup and it left a lingering fragrance. This is a lighter, cleaner scent, which tends to fade. And it also feels like it leaves my hair more refreshed and more clean. I like to shampoo my hair once or twice a week, so I always have a dry shampoo on hand, and this is my favorite one so far that I've found. That wraps up my Sephora recommendations. If you're shopping the sale, leave your recommendations down below. It's always fun to see what you're picking up, and it always gives me new ideas for things to try. Thanks for watching today and wishing you all a fantastic day.